Happy Valentine's Month, everybody. I'm the Sluggers Review, and I'm here today to share with you some of my favorite Valentine's Day episodes from TV shows or even movies. Um, not everything is all lovey-dovey. Sometimes Valentine's Days deal with heartache and everything. So some episodes will be romantic and lovey-dovey, while others will be very like sad and heart-wrenching and stuff but love is love it doesn't always come with like you know smiles and giggles and glee you know so i'm here today to talk to you about heartbreakers this is one of my all-time favorite movies it is one of my all-time like go-to valentine's day type movies it is hilarious. It stars Jennifer Love Hewitt, Sigoni Reaver, Ray Liono, um, Jason Lee. It is, oh, Gene Hackman, the legend himself. It is just a hilarious movie about two women who basically scam men out of their money, break their hearts. Um, they're gold diggers. Um, it's funny because the person who uh, made this movie originally it was going to star a uh, father-son um duo but then he figured it would probably best to do females because you know um i don't know because the guys would come off being more like players whereas the women would be doing it more for like money and that would made it so hilarious and stuff because it's true there are lots of players out there of all different kinds male female there are tons of gold diggers male and female but mostly gold diggers re um, revolve around women for the most part and it's so true but most gold diggers nowadays are celebrities like they are the type of women who will like sleep with the director or producer to get a bigger role there are two i can think of but i don't feel like naming right now <laughs> And, like, a lot of these women end up in reality TV. All those, like, housewives of this, is and that's. Um, these big booty ghetto women who sleep with these rappers. And then next thing you know, they become famous just because of how huge their butts are and, like, who they dated. And then now they're trying to dip their toes into Hollywood. And, like, it, it, it's this, they're, they're all out there. And, like... Even some people you've never really even heard of who are so-called famous and then they end up dating other famous people and getting bigger roles. Like, the only person that comes to my mind right now is, I think her name is Julia Fox. She used to date Kanye West. I say used to because they just broke up. Um, she's a unique, interesting character and such that I've never heard of her, but yet she's an actress. So I looked on her profile. All the stuff she starred in, I've never heard in, so I've never heard of, except for one movie. And that one movie is a big profile movie. I don't know how big her role was, but you know. And so many people call her a gold digger because soon as after Kanye and Kim like split, she jumped into the picture. And nobody's never heard of her, yet she's an actress. And since dating Kanye, now her name is all over the internet. And she's going to star in a biop about Madonna and stuff like that. So she's getting there, you know, because of who she dated and stuff. And so people have called her out talking about, oh, you're only in it for the money and fame. And, she's, and then she went online and told people um, she's not in it for the money because she has dated billionaires before. That's a red flag right there that lets you know the type of person she is if she's only going after these rich, famous, billionaire type people. And so, yeah, gold diggers are all around. <laughs> and it's funny because if a female's a gold digger, they'll get called names like a slut, this and that. But if a man's a gold digger, he's called like either a player or a bum who lives at home with his mom. <laughs> <laughs> and so like i can't stand gold diggers but this movie's funny <laughs> this movie's hilarious and so okay jennifer love hewitt she plays Paige. um ironically i never knew the mom's name until just now because they keep calling her angela in the movie because that was one of her alias names and stuff but her real name is max played by sagoni Reeve, Reeve, um, weaver 
And so, um, Sagoni Reaver, ah, I hate saying her name, she plays Max. She's the mother. And Gene Hackman, he plays Tinsy. He's this rich billionaire type dude who lives in Florida. And then there's Jason's lead character, Jack. He runs a bar and owns it in Florida. So, Heartbreakers. It basically revolves around these two women, Paige and Max. And what they do is they only go for rich men. It's not known if they actually have a home of their own or they just bop around from fancy hotel to fancy hotel, but they're con artists and everything. Basically what they do is they uh, find somebody, they fall in love within like a couple of weeks or months. Um, they get that person to marry them. Then on the honeymoon, they don't have sex with the person. And see, the thing is they don't have sex, period. What they do is... um. They tell them that they're celibate and all this other crap. And so on the honeymoon, soon as like they're about to like do it, the wife has a little too much to drink. She passes out. And then the other person, either the daughter or the mother, comes in and seduces the man. She wakes up to catch him cheating. Then she files for divorce and gets a huge settlement. And it's been working out for them for all of Paige's life. The reason why the mom has a no sex rule is because the last time she fell in love and had sex, she had Paige. And so she loves her daughter and everything. She'll do anything for her daughter, but she doesn't want her daughter to leave her. She wants her daughter to stay under her butt for the rest of her life. And Paige wants to break out and be her own con artist and everything. She's tired of um, having to seduce the type of men that her mom wants. She wants to like prove that she can do it all on her own. And so um, the mom, Max, when she's going by the name Angela, she ends up marrying a, um, a crooked man by the name of Dean. Dean is played by Ray Leona. And so he steals cars and he chops them up. And so like Paige, she is the like assistant who like seduces him and everything. The wife comes in and bam, you know what I'm saying? He she gets like a huge settlement and a car. So basically they wanna like branch out, go to different places. The mom does not want to go to Florida. Paige does. See, the reason why they have to do one more job is that, see, Paige has been telling her mom one more job, that's it, and I'm on my own. The mom doesn't want that. So she comes up with a scheme. That scheme is to get one of her longtime friends who Paige hasn't seen since she's been a little girl. So the lady has um, aged since then. And sadly, that actress has passed away. And so Gene Hatman, I don't know if he passed away or not. God, I hope not. Um, and so like the lady pretends to be an IRS person and who's talking about, oh, you know, we're on to you and your con artist type ways to avoid jail. You have to pay the IRS back and all this other stuff. So this causes Paige to be like, hey, fine, one more job to pay off our debt. And then she's on her own. But Paige wants to go to Florida. Her mom doesn't want to. She said it's too risky. There are a ton of con artists over there. Um, it just wouldn't work out. But then, so Paige tells her straight up, um, it's Florida or nothing. So they go to Florida. And it's hilarious when they are in Florida. And they actually film in Florida. That's a nice touch. It's funny because it's like, a duck in the water and all of a sudden the alligator swoops up and eats it. <laughs> and then the car drives on by. <laughs> now the way these women dress is very elegant. Max dresses like she is like an heiress or something like that, you know? Where Paige is more like sexy dressing. And so like while they're there, they're looking for a hotel, like a fancy hotel. But the thing is they're not just like getting men out of their money. They cheat the system every way they can. When they go to a restaurant, they will be like, all right, finally, I got the check. Getting the check means take a piece of glass, break it underneath your heel, and put the glass in your food. And they're like, waiter, I see glass in my food. So then they're oh, we'll, we'll comp your meal and everything. And that's what they do. Now, restaurants are a little bit more savvy to that with cameras everywhere. <laughs> 
And the hotel is no different. They're all like, well, I'm sure I have a reservation somewhere. And they're all like, well, we don't see your name. So then they do what's known as the flop technique. And the mom's all like, we're going to do the flop technique. And the daughter's all like, huh? Because she, she, she didn't quite hear her. So the mom takes like, um, well, the mom, what she does is she trips her daughter. Daughter hits her face on the floor. And the mom puts like a little water on the floor. They're all like, oh my God. You didn't mop this up. My daughter slipped, fell, could have killed herself. We're gonna sue. They're like, no, 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 we'll give you a free room. <laughs> so Paige is pissed because her mom flopped her without her permission. And she's all like, oh, honey, when you know it's coming, you suck at it. And she's all like, I fall fine. And then she falls on the floor. These two make for a great mother daughter couple duo type thing. Like, they are hilarious. See, Jennifer Love Hugh is one of my all-time favorite actresses. She's so adaptable to different things. In this movie, she plays a B. Like, a straight-up B and everything. And I've never seen her play that type of role because she normally plays, like, the goody-goody two-shoe type roles and stuff. And she's pretty hilarious in the tuxedo as well. And so, like, um... So now they're scoping out who they want to con. So they're on a boat and they're just looking at different types of dudes on their yachts and at their hotel and houses and stuff. A couple of the guys Paige want to go for. The moms are like, uh uh, like these guys, like this dude's into like um, um, group sex. This dude's a mama's boy. And so then she picks Tinsy. Tinsy's played by Gene Hackman. He's a super old um, bigot of a man who constantly smokes. He's a chain smoker. My God, Gene smokes so many cigarettes in this movie. And every time he does, it's always a hilarious bit that goes with it. Now, for the movie, Gene did not want to get addicted to cigarettes. So they gave him something that's known as herbal cigarettes. I've never heard of that. But, um... Do not smoke those thinking you won't get addicted because I'm pretty sure you will. <laughs> so anyway, um, so Paige doesn't want to go with that dude who's that old, but mom's all like, he's perfect. He's super rich and all this other stuff. So the mom pretends to be a Russian lady with a thick Russian accent and a red wig. And so, um, she gets him to fall in love with her. Um, because see, this is the thing. When they was debating on who to go with, they had like a competition at like a club. And they all like, all right, who can ever get this dude to buy us a drink first gets to go with whatever guy we want to. So like the dude picked the mom and like, so that's why they went with Tenzi. So she does the whole Russian thing and he falls in love with her, but it, it takes a while. See, first she has to get him to like her. They're bidding on an auction. He wants this giant statue of a man with a giant penis. And so she bids for it, but then she ends up winning by mistake. <laughs> so now she's like, crap, how am I gonna pay for this? So she does like a little technique where she flirts with like the handyman who like carrying it out and she makes, and like, she's putting her cleavage out and then they look in the direction that her cleavage is going. And then they hit the penis statue on like the door um, arch, breaks it and she gets it for free. <laughs> well, no, she doesn't get it for free. She just has, she doesn't have to pay right now. They're gonna get it fixed. But Tinsy ends up paying it for her and stuff. So, um, they do all these type of things to get him to fall from, and then eventually it just finally worked. But then they have to get Paige to be like his French um, maid <laughs> and everything. While this is going on, Paige is at a restaurant, um, at a bar. She's trying to con this one doctor dude. So she's pretending to choke on nuts. But then she, wins, she ends up choking and the bartender helps her out. She's mad at the bartender. The bartender is a really nice guy. That is Jack, played by Jason Lee. Um, the mama boy turns out to be a mama's boy because when he did the Heimlich on her, the nut came out of her mouth, hit the um, doctor in the eye, and he's hollering for his mom. I kid you not. <laughs> so her and like, you know, the bartender, they, they fight a little bit. Um, but then Sarah Silverman's character, who's like, um, plays a lesbian in this, but we don't know she's a lesbian to the end of the movie when she's, um, messing around with the, um, priest lady and stuff. So anyway, she tells him, wow, like how dumb are you to like, you know, 
um, argue with the owner of the bar and all this other stuff. And Paige is like, ah, oh, no, he's the owner. She's like, yeah, but then all these like investors are offering him millions for it, but he won't sell. Paige now has her target. She wants the bartender so she can get the money while the mom is trying to get Tinsy. But she has to hide this from her mom because her mom doesn't want simultaneous cons and everything because then it gets too risky and they get found out. So, I hope we're not making a con artist out of anybody. <laughs> so, anyways, um, Tinsy ends up falling in love. They get, um, they, they get, uh, he proposes, but before they can get married, he dies. <laughs> All them cigarettes finally got to him. And so, like, yeah. And so, like, she calls Paige to help her with, like, the dead body and stuff. Now, at this point in time, the, I guess the insurance payment or whatever came for, like, the car that um, Dean gave to Max. And so he finds out that she's in Florida. He goes there because he misses her. He wants her, even though he cheated on her with her daughter. But he does not know that's his da um, her daughter. So, he goes to Florida. He finds those two as they're like dragging a dead body <laughs> and, and Paige is like he looks pissed <laughs> and everything as they got the dead body <laughs> and like their arms are crap and so like Paige tends to their body while like uh, Max is trying to like divert him but he chases after her and he's all like you hold up right there I got something for you and he puts his hand in his coat pocket and he whips something out and Max is like ah because <laughs> she thinks it's a gun but it's a wedding ring <laughs> and they're thinking he wants her back so like she has to like you know get rid of him so she ties him up pretend like they're gonna do it but leaves him tied up on the bed <laughs> Then they go and they take Tenzi back to his house and pretend like he died there. And so, like, um, uh, I forgot there's a scene where they have him on a balcony and, like, I think somebody comes in. I think it's Dean. Yeah, Dean follows them to, um, Tenzi's house because the maid comes in as he's tied to the bed I'm like, mm, in that kinky stuff but how about I sit on your face and you give me a tip because she's been cleaning that hotel room of like Max and Paige and no tip and then she's all like which one of these wallets are yours and he's all like two wallets so then he knows he's being con he follows them there right he shows up at the place and as they're trying to like um, they, put, um, they try to put him in the bed but he's stuck Stiff in a certain area <laughs> and, stuff. and so they need the statue as well because when he died my god it was so what they did to gene hatman <laughs> but he was willing to do it remember when i said tinsy croaked and everything well the statue of the the roman statue was there and the penis was fixed on it and when he died, his mouth fell on the penis and rebroke it. And there's a penis now in his mouth. <laughs> and so, <laughs> poor G. <laughs> but it made for a hilarious bit. <laughs> oh, God, I hope he's not dead. <laughs> <laughs> if so, rest in peace, dude. Rest in peace, Lex Luthor. If he are dead, <laughs> I have no idea if you are or not. I have to look it up online. And so, um, yeah. So like, um, they're on the balcony. Paige is on the balcony with the thing. But then the door pops open, and then boom, Tinsy falls to the ground. <sighs> and they did all this while like people are like watching them filming it, and they dumping the dead body on the balcony and stuff. And so, like, he's pissed. He finds out that's her um, her daughter. He's all like, ah, y'all are sick and all this other stuff. And this dude you killed. And um, she's all like, look, um, they need his help to make it look like he died at his place. And they'll give him back his money they conned him out of. Well, when they go to, like, the bank, it turns out that... Her bank account is now empty. Who stole it? Her friend, her long life friend, who conned her out of money. 
um, Dean is pissed and he's just like, whatever, you know what I'm saying? I'm leaving. And he takes the car. And so, like, um, Paige said, like, look, I know how we can get the money. Now, by this time, all this craziness was going on. Paige was working her magic on the bartender, which really works. But there's a problem. She actually ended up falling in love with him in real life. The mom sees this and does not like it whatsoever. And so now they have to con him. They end up getting married. Um, but he does. And so the mom pretend to be her cousin. And But he's not falling for it. Like he doesn't want to cheat on her. So the mom slipped something in his drink during the honeymoon to knock him out. And then she got on top of him pretending like, oh, they're doing stuff. So Paige can come in and he can wake up and all this other stuff. Now, Paige told her mom he would never cheat on me. Like, he loves me and I love him and everything. The mom's all like, he's a man. Like, they're all the same and everything. So when he wakes up, he's not sure what the world happened. But he sees the um, Max and on top of him. Paige sees this and thinks that he cheated. So they divorce. The divorce lawyer is Carrie Fisher. I had no idea at that time for some bizarre reason. And so, um, so when they get the money and everything, he had to sell his bar, which he um, didn't want to do for the investors, but that's what he had to pay the um, divorce lawyers and stuff like that all. And that's why Paige never wanted to con him because he would have to sell the bar. And so, like, when those two fell in love, I mean, they fell in love. Like, he is way out of her league. No, she, no, no, I, my bad. She is way out of his league. He's like a dork. And, but she, for some reason, just end up liking that. Because it's kind of like, when she's with these rich dudes, all they want is, like, money and a piece of, like, um... But <laughs> I couldn't think of a word right now. And so they just want sex and a hot girl and money and, and all this other crap. But it's like, with him, he actually treated her like a lady. And she's never been treated like a lady before. So she is starting to now change and everything. And that's what her mom feared. And so, like, her, her mom confesses to Dean what really happened. About how she, um date raped him and stuff well she didn't really rape him but she drugged him and pretended she just got on top of him pretending like they were doing stuff and so thank god because that would have been terrible for the movie but anyway so he's all like i don't want nothing to do with y'all no more i don't even want the money i don't even want the car just leave me alone because you know um so Paige doesn't understand why dean's upset but then as they're driving she tells Paige the truth everything now there's two recurring gags in this movie uh, well, actually one recurring gag. Um, it's hilarious. So when the mom is driving, which by the way, she just learned how to drive in real life, the actress, because she's from like New York and everything like that, and they don't drive there. So the mom, the actress had to learn how to drive in real life. So when she drives, you can tell she's not comfortable behind the wheel and stuff. So there's a gag where every time the mom is driving the car, she confesses the truth to Paige. Paige just like looks at her with a long stare. And then she begins choking her mom as the mom is driving the car. And the car is like swerving side by side. <laughs> it's hilarious. Once you see it the first time, it will, it will probably be second to second or third time you see it. But after that, it wears off. And then you're like, okay, I know what's coming. You know what I'm saying? And so, like, she confesses to Paige that, like, the whole thing with the um, IRS person was my um, longtime friend. She and then she confesses, like, you know, about what happened that night in bed, that how she slipped him a date rape drug and everything. And so Paige is pissed by this and she's just furious. So then at the end of the movie, she's just all like, you know what? If you want to like do your own thing and be your own person and be with this man, I, I'm not going to stop you because he actually does love you. She can see that. And she just has a fear of losing her daughter and stuff. So Paige goes back to the bartender dude with the deed to the bar. And she, she went by the name Jane. And she's all like, my real name is Paige. And it just ends with them. We don't know what happens after that. We don't know if he takes her back. Um, nothing. So then it's now with... The ending is now with Dean. He is now talking to um, Gloria, which is like the longtime friend of Max. And so, like, 
um, he is calling her, who is spying on them, Max, because she instructed Dean to con her businesswoman, uh, her old friend, um, to get all their money back. Why? Because Dean, like, hit her with some hard truth to the point where she's just kind of like, okay, fine, if my daughter can find love, I guess I can find it too. So they're going to try to, like, you know, um, rekindle what they had and so they're gonna get back together but she tells him if you even look at another woman just remember she might be working for me he pauses and like oh crap <laughs> she's right <laughs> so, this movie is hilarious i don't understand why it had mixed reviews at the box office but it is a great hilarious movie where you will laugh non-stop like you will not stop laughing in this movie it's just an all-time hilarious movie. Now, wasn't that romantic or depressing, depending on what kind of video I just talked about? <laughs> okay, well, happy Valentine's Day, everybody. Bye.